Good morning. Welcome back to Building a House from Trees. This week's episode is very straightforward and the title describes it perfectly. Uh, I'm building a septic system. From the house to the leach field, it's all done. The septic tank's installed, the leach field's installed. Uh, it got inspected by the inspector, thank you, and we're looking good. So uh, tune in for the process. It's a good one. And next week, I think uh, the should be the well on the docket. The whole process of getting the well installed. So that's uh, that's going to be a good one. Stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. Well, I've had many uh, many false starts with the um, leach field. Getting the leach field completely. Uh, built and done here and constructed and now I'm diving into it. Well, I've got that little rig here, so. Uh, I got a uh, laser borrowed from my neighbor up the road. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, I'm gonna go off the benchmark, um, which is in that oak tree over there, and figure out my elevations here and get this nice and level. So, here we go.
Okay, well, it's not that pretty, but it's uh, it was level when I started and I basically just trenched these out because this is the pattern of uh, the effluent pipe, the kind of weeping pipe or whatever it's called, uh, the, the draining pipe of the leach field. So I'm going to get those hopefully tomorrow, piece them together. There's going to be a distribution box right there, and then I'm going to trench all the way up to there. Um, kind of right in front of the, where the truck is, is where the um, septic tank is going to go. So I've got a trench to that. Okie dokie. Uh, bugs are out, but I'm going to plant some beans. <clears throat> well, okay, I just got word that I've got a septic tank coming this afternoon, possibly around 2, and it's 9. And, uh, well, there's no hole here. So I gotta make a hole with that thing there. I'm sure I'm gonna encounter some rocks and I gotta tie into the old septic line there. So I gotta move this lumber and get this cleaned up anyway, but, uh, and then uh, bury the tank here and then run the line and the trench down to there. So here we go. Here are the dimensions, and I've got a thousand gallon tank coming, so I've got eight by six, the height's four foot seven, the inlet right there, the bottom of the inlet is um, D, so 310. So I need to go from the bottom of the hole to where that pipe comes in, three feet ten down. That's not too bad. All right, let's mark it out. In the meantime, I've dug this hole. Maybe it recorded some of it, maybe it didn't, but there's a lot of dirt in there. It's a big, uh, it's a big hole, and that's only maybe a third of the hole. I need to go this way a uh, good deal. You can see my marks in the line there. So uh, I've got to take out that chunk there and get down to, that's, that's the base, that's the height that I want to be at, or the, the depth that I want to be at, the inverted height. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's going well. I got to... I gotta use a ladder to get down in. Layers. It's pretty neat. This stuff is so hard. It's like concrete. I don't need a trench box down here. Get in there. Get in there. Gotta get a little bit this lower and then get this corner eaten out. And I think 
pretty close to being good. Reach over here while I can. Well, that went very well indeed. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. That's the septic tank, and there it goes.
Well, it's the last time you're gonna ever wanna get down inside of one of these, but today actually is pretty appealing. I mean, it's pretty nice in there right now. I climbed down, but I think that this, this would chew me up a little bit on the way down. Maybe not. Or the way up. The way down would be okay, but that's kind of tight. Anyway, yeah, there's something kind of fun. I don't know, about crawling into a septic tank. <laughs> Just a clean underground cave, because it is not going to be too clean for too much longer. All right. I'll see you again sometime. All right, well, I am about to uh, put all those white pipes over there. Cardinal, I love the cardinal. Uh, put all those red, uh, those white pipes there together in the pattern of this trench. And what that is, is the leach field. So I'm gonna get those assembled, try to get them in uh, nice and um, uniform and get the distribution box. I got a plumbing inspector today coming in too, and it is now 12, so I think I can get that done in two hours. Let's see. Okay, well there you go. The uh, doing it by hand, I guess, is a little bit slower, but it's um, it's way more precise than using the rig, and I can get it really nice, packed and tight, and maintain the level that I got, and the uh, the exact height off the takeoff, so or benchmark or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. We got the inspector coming here any minute, and uh, I'll get some of that on film, I think, and I'm gonna start laying down the green schedule 30 for the. Um, the effluent out of the septic tank down to here, down to the leach field, so. Yes, I'm putting together the pipe right now. Yeah. And so, is it okay that it comes in at a little bit of an angle here? That's all right. Okay. You see, it's got this gentle sweep here. I tell you, that piece of equipment, that little yeah, extra, you'll have to have it. That's right, I can stand, I can work in there, all the, all the utilities. Well, it passed. Prentice there has been the plumbing inspector in this town for quite a while, as you might imagine, and he's, he's really good. He knows his stuff. It's always great to talk to him. So, anyway, good, good, good. There's a raven. No, turkey vulture. Oh, 
probably senses my weakness. Um, I had a little bit of a hard time getting the green Schedule 35 together yesterday, um, and my neighbor Jeff gave me some good tips on how to do it, uh, lube and having a nice straight line. So I'm going to try to get that into this line, get this connected, get this uh, white pipe buried probably by hand with the rocks, and then start uh, laying the fabric out and putting eight inches of that clean sand over the fabric. So here we go. Well, that's that's it. The blade on that thing is really handy for this kind of this kind of activity or job or whatever. Um, so I've got about eight inches of sand over that fabric, which was covering the rock, which is covering the pipe, the perforated pipe. So the the effluent, the foul water um, out of the, the septic tank, reaches a certain point in the tank, and uh, the water will drain out slowly and that schedule 35 the green pipe that I'm burying down into here and go and disperse through this rock bed and eventually just ultimately kind of make a really lush green area down here so I've got to put that topsoil um, pick the rocks out of it and sprinkle the topsoil around on here they, uh, they say four inches or something so um, I may be able to find a little bit more topsoil somewhere but um, yeah and here we go So this is from inside the basement leading through the frost wall there 
and going out to <coughs> the septic tank, which looks like just a pile of dirt, but actually a flat piece of earth. The septic, there's a thousand gallons concrete septic tank buried in there. There's a pipe, green schedule 35 like that, a hundred feet of it running right here, right under the feet, poorly backfilled, down to this distribution box, and then this pattern of white PVC pipes with uh, holes in them to le leach out. So this is the leach field. Still got some handwork to do on this, but I've got it sloped the way I want for the most part, and I uh, got most of the rocks picked out of it. So thanks for tuning in. Quite a process building a septic system. Um, quite a learning process. Thank you so much, Jeff, for all your input. And uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next week. Bye.